Well, hello there, and welcome back to the wonderful world of Hermits and Crafting, and we're standing on Ore Mountain. That is right, high above Hermitcraft here on Ore Mountain. One of the most insane things I've ever done on Hermitcraft was to harvest all of that ore and then build it into that tower for literally no reason at all. So in the comments, let me know, what should I do with Ore Mountain here other than just mining it down? But we have many exciting things planned for today's episode. I am quite excited to add a brand new car to the back of the train, and this will also solve a problem. A problem that we have had since day one, and that <laughs> is my chess monster. And it's gotten so bad at first look. Now, that's that's right. At first look, this looks terrible looking at it and completely disorganized, but it is really well thought out and I maximize space. So there is something to be said for how I've jammed in this many chests. And of course, the hermits come here and get their deep slate. That's right. Hermits come in here and get free deep slate all the time. I'm going to have to put a lock on my door. <laughs> but we got a fun episode of building out our storage car for the back of the train. And I am super, super excited about that. But you've probably been wondering, Scar, where have you been? I have been organizing and facilitating the 2024 Hermitcraft charity stream for Gamers Outreach, where the Hermitcraft community and the hermits all came together to raise $840,000 for Gamers Outreach. From the bottom of my scarred heart, thank you to each and everyone who participated in the stream, who was able to donate, and everybody who was able to just be with us, share the link and hang out. It didn't matter if you donated, it just meant that we were all together as a community, raising money and awareness for a great cause. And it is just absolutely insane to see all of these signs and everything that was put together to make this charity stream possible. Huge thanks to Gamers Outreach, Grian for being on the show floor, taking care of everything, and to all the hermits who flew around the world to be in one place together raising money for Gamers Outreach. And long live RoboScar. You would have to have been at the stream to know what RoboScar was. If you want to learn more about the charity and still want to donate, there is a link in the description and it is still live. And for everybody who donated, I'm going to be as transparent as possible by showing you where this money goes, just like the previous stream. And the Hermitcraft auction has concluded, unfortunately. But a big thank you to the Hermits for contributing. And of course, to the recipients, I hope you enjoy your items. And for everybody who participated in the stream, just an absolute, just an absolute huge heartfelt hugs, firm handshakes, and pats on the back. Thank you. So we've got a big build ahead of us today for the storage car on the back of the train here. And this is going to be really, really sweet. The problem is it's going to require a lot of resources and resources that I don't have, but there's a shopping district for that. But the problem with that is you need diamonds to afford things in the shopping district. And well, I only have one single diamond to my name. Now, the question is, what could I afford in the shopping district with a single diamond? Hmm. Well, can't afford mud, can't afford quartz. That's a nope on glow ink. No tasty morsels for me. No bones for me. No enchanted books. Not even a hay bale. I don't mind not being able to afford this. Inflation has hit the shopping district, but these fireworks are only a diamond, and this is what I'm going to spend my... Hold on, we gotta pay for it. Our diamond on... Oh, I cannot believe these are only a diamond. Cub went all out on these special edition Eclipse fireworks. Yeah, that was well worth it. Can you imagine paying three diamonds for a stack of endstone and not buying those eclipse fireworks? Anyway, we do need diamonds to buy wood and a whole lot more. So hit the diamond montage. A stack and a half of diamond ore blocks looks so small 
next to Ore Mountain. <laughs> and you might be wondering, Scar, why don't you just mine your own diamonds? Because I'm not touching those. And all those sticky finger hermits, you better keep your paws off of that. <laughs> it just looks so small, but it's also a whole lot of diamonds. So let's harvest this up and then we can start buying the resources we need for today. Ah, having diamonds again is quite the feeling. <laughs> I've been running on low for a while, so this is nice. Permanent office open? Open today? And that means we can finally turn in our paperwork for completing the all mobs permit paperwork. I've been doing paperwork in Minecraft for a month and I finally completed it. <sighs> okay, we'll get to the building in a little bit. We'll get to the shopping in a minute. We need to focus on this. Hold on. Somebody's trying to beat me to the permit office. <laughs> oh, but will they meet the power of the hot? Okay, that was a miss. Don't look back, Pearl. Don't look back. Hey! No, don't look over in the parking lot. It's fine. It's fine. Knock, knock. Turn the lights on. Hello. Hello. Valued Gotta customers. go around the corner. How can I help knock, you knock. today? Sorry. Please. Yeah, no, this door is actually open today. What? Oh, it's open. Oh, yeah, fantastic. This, door, this door's working today. Oh, oh, oh thank you sorry. very much. Oh, um. Oh. Right. How fixed. can I help you? I would like a permit, please, for the stamps. Okay, you promised right, me well, one. Signing closed. Done. There we go. Permit. Wonderful, Time. thank you, and here's your permit. Hey, Scar, why don't oh. I help you out? Oh, oh okay. yes, am I, am I ready? Am I ready? Ooh. Yep, what do you need, buddy? <sighs> Hello. You fill, filled yes. out that form? I have, I, I went to great lengths. I want the permit office to know that this is a complete Thanks. and true form. It's not been notarized? No, no, I signed oh. it. It's, <laughs> it's, been, it's been signed. It's not been notarized. But that's okay, because we don't need them notarized today. Oh. I just need to I just need to check. Okay, the only relevant question is the first one, so... No, they were all go. relevant. I worked hard on them. The Literally first, I don't even need to see the answers. Right, so you here you go. You need to see here the answers. I worked so hard for on them. all the mobs. Wait, no, give that back. Hold on, hold on, because you've created the permit. For something like this, yeah. you need to exchange of equal value the permits. The the stamps is a special case as it's a custom item specifically for the post office, but this is Heck something yeah. that you sell. So I'm going to need you to exchange something that you've got in your permit pouch for this one, which is another form that I need okay, to Okay, I, right I have this. Uh, it's very valuable. It needs to be permits. <sighs> Okay, what what do oh. I what do I what do I exchange it for? Well, let me see what permits you got. Why don't you put that in? Why don't you put that here and we'll make a trade? Okay, um, I don't have any permits on me. Okay, well you're gonna have to go and get those. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Jeez, I thought the door was open. It is okay. on the oh. other side. <laughs> okay, right, there we go. There we go. Oh, that permit office. Dang it. Okay, back at the train. Let's see if we can gather up some permits of mine. Okay, okay. All right, we could even throw in a rare B-dub stamp, maybe? This isn't all of my permits. I could go get the glass permits, too. Here are my glass permits. Let's bring these with us, just in case. I'd rather get rid of those glass, to be honest, if I could. And let's check on Slappy the agent. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We gotta say hi to Slappy. Slap, you all right? Oh, look at Slappy. Who's a good little Slappy? Who's a good little salmon? He's a good little salmon. Okay, hopefully this will be the last time uh, at auction. this wretched permit office. Auction, okay. All I'll right. let him go first. We'll discuss this later. All right, can I, can I join the queue here? Yeah, yeah, yeah you on. go in, let's, so you go in. You've so been waiting right, long pop enough. in here and uh, let's see. So th this, let's separate here. So this is the all the mobs. So you put in your permits on the left. That's that's a beat up stamp. That's a rare stamp. Nope. Oh, um, <laughs> turn around, Pearl. Wait, wait, wait hold on a Pearl. second. Turn around, Pearl. Hold on. Turn around, Pearl. You don't have you don't have the permit to trade those. Excuse it me. It was a gift from Etho. It was a gift from Etho. Keep going. Put all your permits in here, and I'll tell you what's an equal trade. Okay. Okay. Ooh. All right. And bam! Look at that. A whole glass yeah, collective. All of them, Scar. All of them, Scar. <laughs> This okay. is this is a S tier permit right here. So here's here's the deal I'm going to offer you. Mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. can give all of your glass for the mobs. Okay. You can give blackstone and one of the terracotta. Okay. For the, for the mobs, or you could give all of your terracotta, no, no, two of your terracotta for the mobs. Okay. Big T will be after me though, which I don't think I want. How many terracottas do I have? I have um, black. You've got three somehow. How did you didn't get these when we pulled these out? So you've you've traded. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna give you glass, glass. 
All the glass. Yeah. All the glass. And this also, no I just want to point these. out, comes with a revenue source. These are existing shops that you, as the permanent office, can collect that revenue from those We are chests. not interested in money here. We are just interested in doing no That's work. Right, say. here you go. <laughs> right, there you go. All the mobs for the three glass. I got it? You, you tell me I got it. It's April 1st. Oh. It's everyone's birthday. Uh, wow. It's it's done, Dude. Pearl. All the work. You finally did it. I did. I'm so happy. Dude, congratulations, buddy. Oh, I don't even know what to do now. I, I All I've been focused on is getting these mobs, and now I'm like, oh, what do I do now? Uh, well, you, well, you go do your mob thing. Easy as that. What, yeah. what do I do with these glass permits now? <laughs> have <laughs> fun. <laughs> I'll have them. Oh, dang it. Wrong door, Scar. Yeah. Other one, buddy. That, that's it. Other one. Yeah. You got it. I, I ran out of rockets. Yep. Hold on. Well, that's all good. Hold on. I got you. Hold on. Here you go. Here you go. Go fly away. Come go fly with Go buy some more rockets. <laughs> Come go do your mobs. fly with... Dang it! I just looked back at the footage. I didn't use Pearl's rockets. I used my explosive rockets. Permit office will not reclaim lost permits. Well, they're not lost. They're right in the lobby and, and, and Pearl will keep an eye on them. Oh my God, he's grown more trees since I was last through here. Now it's getting dark. What is this, a giant wall now? <laughs> I can't get through. I can't get through. Oh my gosh. Knock, knock, we still open? We still open? We are still open, sir. Okay, good. Uh, is my stuff still here? Uh, Pearl's put it in that chest over there. Oh, this one? Okay, good. I think, yeah. Yeah, just there. missing something. Yep, what you missing? Just missing my, uh, just missing my, uh, permit. Well, there, there was a bunch of permits that were submitted to Lost and Found. Oh, okay. All right. Um, I'm here for a Lost and Found item. I'm gonna need you to please hold. No. Your permits have been submitted to Lost and Found, which requires you to fill out some forms. Okay. Ooh. And as far as I'm concerned, April Fool's is over. You've had your permits worth out of me. But it, it, oh. but it's still permit time. So but I'm going to have to ask you to please oh. hold. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a bop though. There you go. Right, Pearl. How can I help you? That, ooh, ooh, I get to this, dance this, to the this whole one, music. This line's just nope. opened. <laughs> Right, I'm gonna need to make a, a new form for you, but I think it's gonna have to wait till tomorrow because our time up, our time is done here. No, there's more time. Oh. No, Scar, I'm afraid. Tell him, there's tell no him, time. Pearl, there's more time. Oh, I mean, sir, I mean, you've been absolutely wonderful. If you could just give this poor man some time, he's been through so much. Yes. You know, he's been through the dirt, the grub, the grime. He's crawling through the mud. He'd really love his permits back. Okay. It's worth it. Oh, Yay! thank you, bro. Thank you, Pearl. Let's go. <laughs> Can we turn the music off? Uh, Oh, thank you. Thank you. Just for today. Oh, we got everybody the wins. permit. I don't know what to do with myself anymore. I have spent literally a month working on that permit paperwork to finally have it complete, which deserves some major celebrations. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to finally have it. Now, you guys got to let me know in the comments, what should our all mob permit shop look like in the shopping district? I think it would be super, super cool. Um, but there it is. We finally have it along with our sand and gravel, which very well might be my first shop I'm going to build. It's going to be called Anakin's Revenge for obvious reasons. And then, of course, we have Blackstone, which I want to trade for Deep Slate if possible. And then, of course, we have my Blackstone permit and then the two permits that I have joint ownership over with impulse ah it's a good day my friends it's a good day worthy of one more explosion <laughs> i love these fireworks so much thank you cub finally we're done with the permit office we're done mining for diamonds and it is now time to build but before we get to the creative aspect of it we need to swirl ourselves the underlining structure of 
the entire train. And from the very beginning of building out this train, I've tried to keep the same design throughout the entire system to kind of create a more realistic undercarriage of the whole train, just to really nail in that this is a train because we have gotten a little silly and a little cartoonish with, of course, the designs above kind of the realistic aspect of the train. You can see there's like a line, right? Where we have giant fish and then there's more of like the wheels and the shocks and all the things that go along with a train. So what we're gonna be working on now, of course, as I mentioned, is our storage area. And I wanna do two large storage buildings and then something connecting and then at the very top of the building on the back I have a fun fun surprise for you there which I think you're gonna absolutely love and it's been an inspiration from the very beginning of this entire project but we are now at the tail end of the train and that means we're getting very close to start working on the zoo full-time and we still need to tie this entire area into a proper landscape design I really want to do some giant sequoia trees but I don't know what the rest of it'll look like, and that is something I need your help with. But until then, let's hit super fast build mode. super fast build mode and we've now got a structure for our tail end of the train but we are far from done because this build is competent in its structure but incredibly lifeless and boring and we need to change that now and i thought this would be a great opportunity to do a quick little lesson of minecraft building and how i see and interact with the world so at its sense, this entire build is just a Minecraft storage area to store all of our stuff. We have this giant hollow area where we can fill it full of chests along with the building on the right hand side, but that is boring. How do we continue the theme and the story that we're trying to portray about having a zoo and a zoo train? So we turn our attention to what I call the human element. So this is turning your build from something that's just structurally competent to something that feels like it is alive and breathing and telling a story. So this car at the end is where the vast majority of our animals live. So we can start thinking about maybe there's some giraffe's heads poking out of the top of the upper story there. Maybe there's an elephant in the middle of the train where the glass is, or that could be an aquarium where there are dolphins and turtles swimming around. And being animals here, maybe there's some manure, maybe there's some more wear and tear on the buildings. Animals gotta eat so we can think about where they eat or if they've got food stored along the sides of the car. There's this huge little swath of empty space on the roof line. Maybe this is where the zoo train has a boat store. But then you think, where did the boat come from? How did it get up here? Maybe we need to add a crane. So this is the fun part. This is where you can start using your imagination and where I'm starting to panic because I don't know if I know how to make a giraffe's head. Hmm, that can be a challenge, but a challenge that I'm excited about because this is what keeps me so excited about Minecraft and not just building boxes, but creating things that tell a story and have a feeling like somebody lives and breathes in this environment and it is telling a story because that's how I stay motivated in Minecraft after all these years. Buckle up for cuteness. That's right, we've got are giraffes. <laughs> I've spent an obscene amount of time working on these and I really, really hope that they do give off the impression of big giraffe heads poking up out of their car here. And I mean, come on, look at their little earsies looking super cute. <laughs> I really hope you think these look like giraffes. I've, uh, as I said, spent uh, way too much time working on these guys. Um, but yeah, this is our first attempt of trying to add some more animals to the car and bringing in that lived in feel like the bamboo coming out of the car here. So our next step is to try to figure out where we can stick an elephant. Buckle up for cute overload number two. We've got ourselves 
An elephant. <laughs> Look at how cute the little elephant looks. Oh, he's just busting his head right out of the side of the building. And I think it'd be really fun to put some snacks down here. Just something that the elephant's trying to reach to grab for food. I think could be really cool. I added the black around the border of the elephant's head just to make it look like it just kind of goes back into the distance, like using a black curtain for theater or something along those lines. So I think that looks really cool. Now we've got the giraffes. We've got the elephants. Now we need to focus on what to do on the top. There we go. I think that boat finally ties the entire car together and I am absolutely loving it. Now there is a crane at the top and that ties into that human element I was speaking about because if you're going to put a boat on the top of the building, how did it get there? How do they get it down? Why is it there? Well, it's a great place to store something and now you have a crane to put it in the water. We have animals, so that's why we have the different animal crates and the food scattered around and we do need to go and see if we can maybe grab one of our ocelots or parrots or bees and put them in these little animal crates here and there and all the little bits of flowers. Now the boat itself is of course themed after the Jungle Cruise at Disneyland and I shrunk it down, changed a few things from the one that was in Scarland, um, but I think all of it comes together absolutely perfect, absolutely loving it. Now if we pop into the interior, we have a lot of room to start building out our storage room, but I did have an idea here. So we'll break through and we'll make a glass tunnel all the way through here. So when we go between the two different storage rooms, we literally go through a glass tunnel and watch all the fish swim around us, which I think could be really cool. Now take a look at the side profile of the train with all of its unique cars, which I think are looking absolutely fantastic in their own unique way. I would really love to be able to put another car on the back here. I want to do a caboose, but I'm not sure we're going to have enough room for the caboose, which is a bit of a bummer. So I need to think about what to do there. Hmm. If you have any ideas, let me know in the comments, but this is looking fantastic. Now that we got the exterior of the car nearly complete, let's go pop over to the shopping district because Cub opened up his goat horn shop, which isn't just your average goat horn shop. No, these are custom. It is finally open. Now, as I said, these are custom. All of these horns are random things that hermits say. What is this? Dang it, Scar? What is this one? Hold on, we gotta play it. Dang it, stop it, Scar! Somebody kill him now! <laughs> Oh, that was a great one. Oh my gosh, what was that? He's the sort of person to use non-bio laundry detergent. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Oh man, these are these are fantastic. What is this? What is the scaffolding one? Today we're breaking scaffolding. Oh, doesn't it feel so good? I feel uncomfortable. Oh, you love the break of the scaffolding. I feel really the sound uncomfortable. Of the scaffolding. Yeah, I'm really uncomfortable. I don't like that one. Yes. Oh yes. It's still happening. How is it still happening? What's this one? Help! This could be actually one of the best ones. You just play this next to some random person. They will know what's going on. Oh no, Cub. Oh no. Don't put that in my mouth. No, he put it. He did make it. He did make it into an official horn. Oh no. Don't put that in my mouth. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Okay. What is this one? Right, let's start stripping, babies. <laughs> I wonder if he put my special edition horn. There's a particular one I wanted him to do, and it was of impulse. Let me see if I can find it. Spoken like a true king. Oh, no. Is this my favorite Michael Scott quote? I love inside jokes. Love to be a part of one someday. <laughs> I might need that one. Where is the one that I wanted that I sent Cub a clip of, of Impulse? Where is it? Wait, is this it? This might be it. This might be it. Say it. Yes. We'll bleep it out. We'll bleep it out. If you got to say it to live, you say it. Yes. <laughs> I'm buying that one. I'm buying that one. By the way, somebody, uh, somebody underpaid Cub here. You ready for this? What is happening? <laughs> okay, these are good. These are good. Okay, I bought these ones. There is maybe one more that I want, and that might be this one. I declare bankruptcy! <laughs> I'm gonna be poor, Cub. I don't think I even paid for this one over here. Wait, where's the other one? Yep, I need to pay for that one. 
Okay, I no longer have any diamonds, but I am so I happy. Declare bankruptcy! <laughs> I have 32 more diamonds. What horns should I buy? Let me know in the comments. I declare <laughs> bankruptcy! I love these horns so say much. It. We'll bleep it out. We'll bleep it out. If you got to say it to live, you say it. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> okay, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I love these horns more than anything. And I hope you enjoyed the build. And in our next episode, we're going to finish the train. We're going to see if we can squeeze in a bit of a caboose in the back. And of course, build out the storage room and finally start on my first shop. So until next time, we'll see you later. And don't forget to subscribe because you may just become scared for life.